Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. If you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Diani Neves and I'm a Christian blogger, influencer, mentor, and mouthpiece for the Lord, which means that I share the prophetic messages that God gives me for my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm praying that there won't be too much background noise because again, I am at the park and the windows are open because it's a little humid outside. But God gave me a word on April 11th at two, three o'clock in the morning that he's been putting on my heart to release to you guys. So I need to go ahead and do that. Um, the word or the title of this word is expect this in June. Um, or rather, these are things that God has put on my heart to release to you guys to expect in june okay there are quite a few specifics that will only apply to like one person or a very specific few individuals okay but this word is not just for june it was when i was kind of internally inquiring as to why he was giving me this word early and having me release it early that he put it on my heart that these are things that we are to expect to see um significantly in the month of june but they're starting from the moment this word is released leading up to that month okay i'm just going to read the notes that the holy spirit gave me please make sure that you do not take anything out of this word that is not meant for you make sure that you bring this word back to god as i said there are some very specific parts for you guys there's a lot in this word so i'm gonna stop blabbing and jump right in okay someone is moving into their own home slash apartment right now we're getting into bullet points that he gave me someone is gaining access into new office space a lease or a renting situation for business or a private space to work away from family god showed me a vision of a ring which i gasped and i was like no like a ring ring and he said someone's getting engaged and someone is getting a quote-unquote promise okay I wasn't sure exactly what he meant until he elaborated and said someone is receiving a spoken promise from their loved one. This will look like a commitment, their intentions being made clear. It will be noticeable that they are spending time when it comes to you, okay? Um, or they have spent time considering you through their actions or their words, whatever the case may be. And a promise that God made concerning marriage and intimacy is coming to pass slash breaking forth in someone's life, okay? someone is in dire need of their own method of transportation god said that this particular individual whoever that part of the word is for does not think that they need a car as they are comfortable paying for rides and walking but this is the lord's will okay it is god's will for you to receive a new vehicle of your own to transport from place to place and something he's putting on my heart right now is that this transportation is significant um more so where he is about to take you you are going to need it more where he's taking you than you need it where you're at now okay god showed me an old-fashioned key someone is receiving a necessary element for their promised land this will vary for those of you it's for but god will elaborate in the secret place some of you will already have an idea as to what this key is as well as what role it will play okay this one is very specific someone will be receiving the heartfelt hug they have been yearning for this is a desire that you have expressed to god in private and for some it will come through an unexpected individual for others it will come from one specific and anticipated person that one made me excited i'm excited for whoever that's for because i know Hugs are a big deal, especially if you've been in a season of intense, extreme isolation where God has you secluded and he's not letting you go around too many people. He's actually pulled you away from the people that you love or the people who you've grown up with, whatever the case, especially if you're in the season of waiting for your God ordained marriage and he's called you out of dating. He's called you out of, you know, um, entertaining relationships with people who are not your spouse. So you've been feeling a lack in the intimacy area not even sexual intimacy, but, you know, pure, wholesome, 
connection with another individual where you can hold hands and you can hug and you can just spend time with each other and bond and grow in your relationship with one another and with God. Some people are to expect business and financial breakthroughs in the form of investments and grants and maybe even loans if God has led you to apply for some, okay? Someone in particular will finally get their motorcycle fixed. This one threw me for a loop. I was like, I did a double take and I stopped for a second. I was like, God, are you serious? And he was like, put it down. Like it's so specific. Whoever it's for, you're gonna know it's for you. That's how specific this is. Someone's particular friendship with another individual will strengthen and another level of trust and connection will be reached through a conversation, okay? Through conversation. Life has gotten in the way of the two of you whoever this word is for, and God wants to encourage and remind the both of you that he did indeed ordain this friendship for his glory. And then last but not least in this list of bullet points, God said, someone will conceive. You will soon find out that you are expecting and God is letting this particular person know that it will be a baby boy. This is confirmation of what he's already been showing and telling you and your husband, okay? So you're about to get pregnant, whoever that word is for, okay? Um, this will be an answered prayer and confirmation, and it will be a promise that God gave you concerning pregnancy coming to pass. So like I mentioned earlier, I thought this word was only for the month of June, which made me a bit confused as to why God would have me release it so early. But he did tell me that these things are to be expected leading up to and throughout the month of June, as well as the entirety, thank you Holy Spirit, of this summer, okay, this upcoming summer. Right now at the time I'm releasing this, it's 2023, but this is going to apply years to come, okay? Um, and God said June is the hot spot or sweet spot. Holy Spirit put it, I'm sorry if you guys, oh my gosh, can hear. There's like a group, a gaggle of guys. I think it's God at school. They're like down there and Holy Spirit said, just get the word out. So that's what I'm doing. Um, God put it on my heart to look up the definition of hot spot and sweet spot. A hot spot is a place of significant activity or danger, which danger does not, that's not a part of this word. A sweet spot is an optimum, are they barking? No, that's a real dog. <laughs> you know how sometimes guys will like bark? It's it's like, I think it's a, um, a college thing. Like when they're in sororities, I've never heard that like in person. I really thought that's what they were doing for a second. Oh my goodness. That was funny. Um, okay, a sweet spot is an optimum point or combination of factors or qualities. All right. God said, congratulations are and will be in order. Heaven is already rejoicing on your behalf. And then he put the little blushing emoji and the red heart emoji. He did lead me to scripture. Okay, but this isn't even like the end of the word, but he did give me some scripture for this word. He led me to 2 Corinthians verse 1 and 2, which says, For all the promises of God find their yes in him. That is why it is through him that we utter our amen to God for his glory. When God tells you to expect something, when he puts something on your heart that he wants you to receive, that he's got in store for you, you can expect that that is going to come to pass because it's about him getting the glory. If it doesn't come to pass, he can't get the glory for it. And he takes his glory very seriously. Like honestly, God has better things to do than to get our hopes up and play games with our hearts just for the sake of it, just for the heck of it, just to look cute. You know what I mean? God then drew my attention to the fact that at the time I was receiving this word, it was the 11th, okay? Which I looked up in Strong's Concordance and it means Abram or Abraham. God used this to highlight that he rewards his faithful children and he always fulfills his promises. Abraham is a prime example of this. Although Abraham made a mistake, God still showed him grace and mercy and brought forth the child, Isaac, that he promised him and Sarah. God then brought it to my mind that not only was it the 11th, but it was April the 11th, okay, aka 411, all right? And I looked it up and it means indescribable, that which cannot be thoroughly related, inexpressible. The joy you are about to experience in these next few months will be inexpressible. There are certain emotions and feelings that you just cannot put into words and efficiently explain or express what's on your heart. A lot of what God is about to do will bring him the glory through others seeing what he has done. Also, this pertains to those of you who he said will be receiving a promise, 
um, a commitment or ring from your God ordained spouse. What they may have had difficulty expressing to you before will now be made clear through their actions. Get ready. So I finished typing all of that at 254 and I thought I was done. Okay, and then God put it on my heart to look up the number 254 as well, and it means fire pot. Either it's brazier or brazier, and then hearth. All right, so a fire pot is a container, usually earthenware, for carrying fire. Fire pots have been used since prehistoric times to transport fire from one place to another for warmth while on the move, for cooking, in religious ceremonies, and even as weapons of war. A brazier or brazier is a portable heater consisting of a pan or a stand for holding lighted coals. And a hearth is the floor of a fireplace often used as a symbol of one's home. Um, and the example that it gave as a sentence was he left hearth and home to train in Denmark. Okay, so this was just further confirmation of the timeline that God has given us. Summer. Okay, in the hotter months of the year. And it is also God's way of encouraging a few of you that have been in a period of transition. You've been going place to place as per his leading, and he's referring to himself as the fire that has been keeping you going. As I was looking up the last definition um, for hearth, I heard the song, Hold On, We're Going Home by Drake, specifically the part that says, just hold on, we're going home. It's hard to do these things alone. I do not listen to Drake, but I knew that God wanted me to dissect these lyrics because there's more revelation in it for you guys, okay? Um, and this is also specifically regarding God-ordained marriage and those of you who he's blessing with a physical home in this hour. So I'm going to read the lyrics and then allow Holy Spirit to flow because I actually didn't dive into the lyrics previous so the lyrics start i got my eyes on you you're everything that i see i want your hot love and emotion endlessly i can't get over you oh my gosh god is so good okay so he's talking about the heat from your transition and how he's been the fire that's keeping you going and he's bringing you home okay those are that part of the word is for for those of you that that applies to he's bringing you home to either your new location your new physical home that he's blessing you with and this may be with or without your god ordained spouse for those of you who are being brought to your home with your god ordained spouse whether you guys are moving in together um or you are being joined with them they are symbolizing your home you are home to them they are home to you because they are who god has called you to be with right yeah god just dropped that on me so um i can't get over you you left your mark on me i want your hot love and emotion endlessly because you're a good girl and you know it you act so different around me because you're a good girl and you know it i know exactly who you could be just hold on we're going home just hold on we're going home it's hard to do these things alone just hold on we're going home i'm gonna skip the next part because it's just a repetition of the beginning you're the girl you're the one gave you everything i loved I think there's something, baby. I think there's something, baby. And then it repeats that again. So yeah, that's the gist of the song. It's like a lot of repetition, a lot of repetitive parts. So basically through this, God is just confirming to those of you who are about to be joined with your God-ordained spouse. And this is also confirmation of the word that I released the other day where God is giving some of you a kiss which is going to serve as affirmation, confirmation, recognition of everything you've been going through. And it'll clarify some things for you in regards to what you've been feeling, what you've been receiving from God in the secret place concerning your promise for God ordained marriage, as well as the other promises that he has in store for your life, okay? Something else that God's putting on my heart is that this song is a reflection of how some of your God ordained spouses look at you. This could go for women and men, honestly. Um, you have a demeanor where you don't show your full self to this person as yet or you haven't shown certain things to this person as yet because it hasn't been time for the two of you to officially come together and this will apply to those of you who you've been in contact with your god ordained spouse but things haven't progressed um completely so you're still pursuing friendship or you're not even considered friends just yet you're still kind of working up to that point god is just um highlighting the fact that they can tell that there are things about you that you are not relaying and portraying. They know that there's more than meets the eye when it comes to you. This is just confirmation of that. Um, they know that there's a whole nother side of you. There's a whole nother side to you that they desire to see, that they desire to tap into. And they know that they can't do that unless they are walking in alignment with God. And God is just downloading this as I speak, I guess. And God is acknowledging for those of you who are actually being joined with your God-ordained spouse that 
yes, they are your home. You are their home and y'all are being brought together because God is, thank you, Holy Spirit. He is confirming that at the point that you are at right now, you can no longer continue forth on your own. You know what I mean? He's saying that at this point, it is time for you to be joined with your God-ordained spouse because your individual assignments have come to an end. Now it's time for your team assignment. Now it's time for you guys to step forth into your purpose together as one, um, as a unit for God's glory. And God is also re-emphasizing the fact that there's a certain level the two of you cannot reach without being in each other's lives. So if you are feeling, and this word is for you, if you are feeling um, that you are at a point where you are stagnant, but you are in alignment with God and he has been speaking to you, telling you that something's about to break forth, telling you that your God-ordained spouse is on their way and you need to be ready to go when they say, come with me, um, my sisters in Christ. Um, you need to be ready to leave at at God's word. Yeah, God is just confirming that to those of you who that applies to. And you will know if that's for you because this is just confirmation of things that God has been showing you in the secret place. Um, but it's also a little bit more insight and things for you to prepare for. Okay, that is all that God has given me for this particular word. I pray that it blessed you guys. Make sure you take it back to God for further insight, revelation, and confirmation. I am so excited for those of you that this word is for, um, both now and in the future. Remember that I love you guys. God loves you so much more, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.